Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa here. I was checking my YouTube comments yesterday and I was uh, chatting with a YouTube user by the name of No More War. I don't know if it's a he or a she, so I'm going to have this have to do this awkward he she thing. He or she was saying that uh, subtitles, which I've done a few videos about recently in Caden Live, were, you know, kind of not um, ideal because you couldn't style the subtitles. And I've done a few videos recently on subtitling in Caden, and it was actually only after watching uh, my own video that I subtitled, hard subtitles, that I said, you know what, that's that's a good point. The subtitles aren't like that amazing. So he or she then said, good news, in the latest Caden Live, there is subtitle support. And I went in and checked my version of Caden Live, and indeed I was not running the latest and greatest stable release. And I thought it'd be worth doing a video if you guys are also using Ubuntu, editing video on Caden Live, and finding yourself confused. Now, if I jump over into my uh, second screen here, um, this thread in the Caden Live subreddit here speaks to the confusion. This uh, this is from a month ago. Some uh, some somebody posted here. Is it better to install Caden Live as a PPA? PPA as a snap, as a Debian, as a flat pack, or as an app image. Now, if I want to just say one kind of maybe constructive criticism of the Caden Live project, it is a little bit confusing that you've got all these options. What I did, I recently installed my uh, this my operating system, my Ubuntu from scratch. I did a fresh install for the first time in like five years, and I just did a simple sudo apt get, get install Caden Live. In other words. I installed it from uh, the Caden Live uh, default repository. Now it seems as if that's not the way to get the latest and greatest version. So what I thought I would do in this video is firstly, if you don't know how to check which version of Caden Live you are using, show you guys how to do that. Secondly, I will uh, show you how to look up the releases because Caden Live do a very good job at keeping documentation on their website. And you can find if there's a new release, you can see Mm, this is interesting, this is not interesting, and choose to upgrade or perhaps go, as I did just now, from using the uh, one in the official repository to the one in the PPA maintain maintained by Caden Live. So, first uh, first uh, order of business is, as I said, to check the version of Caden Live uh, that you are running on your computer. So uh, in order to do this, I'm just gonna have to like drag it. There we go, bring it over to this screen here. So under help in the far right of the menu, you have a uh, option there for about Caden Live. And if you click on this, you're going to see, you can see I'm running here version 22.08.0. So that's how to check which version of Caden Live you have installed. Again, go under help click on about Caden Live and you'll find the version number there. Now, in terms of finding out what's the latest stable release, so the Caden Live website is available at, I'm gonna just put myself up a small bit, cadenlive.org. And on the homepage, if you click on download, it's going to say download current stable release. So this is a way to check if you are running the latest stable release of Caden, uh, because if your version number is below that, then you're running effectively an old version of Caden Live. Now, um, in order to get it, they have options for Windows, Ubuntu, and indeed for Mac. And under Linux, we have three different options. We have the flat pack, we have the app image, and we have the Ubuntu PPA. So the Ubuntu PPA is what I've just switched to, and it's what I've been using for uh, the majority of my time using Caden Live. If you don't know how to add it, just click on the PPA and it'll tell you. You need to run this command. You need to add the Caden Live stable PPA to your uh, repository manager. And then you need to do a sudo apt update and it should pull in to your computer the latest version of Caden. In other words, if you're not running the latest one, it's gonna upgrade, which is what I just did to get up to the latest stable release. Now, as well as the stable release, there are daily bills. And again, these are made available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. They're labeled experimentary and you've a button here for a flat pack adding the repository. So that's how you can do it if you want the latest unstable builds. But if you wanna just stick to the stable builds, here's what you can do. Now, very important as well is to know what's new. In other words, it's gonna save you a bit of time digging through 
uh, features to say, hey, what have they upgraded? So what I do is, I know this is probably not the best way to do it. I just Google, I actually just Googled not even Caden Live and it came up. And they'll typically write a blog post or release blog post in which they described what's been added. So this blog post is from September 18, 2022. Um, and they actually show you specifically which commits were added. So this is a pretty minor one, but if you go back to um, another release in the 2208 series, we're probably gonna see uh, you know a longer list of commits. But nevertheless, if you wanna go really, really granular, and they even link over to the commits. So if you wanna see specifically what code was changed in the code repo, uh, you're able to go in there. But it's usually good enough just to look at this. So if we look at the Caden Live 22081 release notes, we can see they have fish, fixed crash when clip is modified by external app. Fix double clicking mix. So these are all, you know, stability upgrades, other types of upgrades. And sometimes you'll see something important. For instance, one, uh, one feature I'm really looking forward to seeing is when they roll out support, which I know is in their feature uh, request for uh, simultaneous subtitles. So if you want to add two layers of subtitles uh, in two different languages, that there's going to be support for that. <clears throat> so I hope that's um, just a little bit of info for... Uh, for folks who are, you know, using Caden Live, uh, just to summarize again, if you want to check which version you're running, it's worth going into about Caden Live. Sorry, help about Caden Live to see the version. If you want to stay up with the stable builds, add the Caden Live uh, PPA to your computer. Do an upgrade. You'll pull in the latest version, and then if you want to check what they are doing in the various versions. Uh, then you can also do that. And remember, just clicking on download, you're going to get to the um, get to the latest info here, and you'll be able to see exactly what's in the daily builds and uh, change over to one of these options if you don't like the version of Caden you are getting with your uh, however you're currently installing it. Hope this video is useful. Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to get more videos from me about Caden Live and other subjects, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.